Hi, I'm Holly, and I'm going to explain how we create space for art. I studied drawing and painting at Edinburgh College of Art. I liked materials at art school, so I did paintings on metal. I remember measuring it, and I knew I could fit in the largest painting. It had to be two centimetres shy of getting into the back of my dad's car. So I think that was my first attempt at storage. I joined National Gallery of Scotland the week after graduation as front of house, and then the Museums Gallery of Scotland had a paid traineeship, which was a year-long focus on collections management, and that's when I learned about storage. And then I came back to National Gallery of Scotland and eventually became store manager. I'm responsible for everything that's not currently on public display and that we are storing in our off-site storage facilities. Most museums and art galleries hold the majority of their collections and storage. Everything that's not currently on display needs a home, and that's in the stores. People sort of talk about it as the Indiana Jones moment. They walk in and there's a series of rooms and they put on the light and they see all the artworks. Artworks are getting larger, more challenging, and then we have to store that. A lot of things in stores start a conversation because you see them in a new light and you get to respond to it without any formal text, without being in a formal environment. It's quite a safe space, a store. It's a bit like going to the library and trying to find that library book that no one's had out in years. You can do that with the paintings or the sculptures or the photographs. You can find things that you haven't seen in the gallery, but oh, look, you're getting a chance to see it now. I'm always looking at what's coming up, what's moving. I'm constantly looking at calendars and diaries to see when are we going to have the right number of resources in the team to pack this large painting because I know that's going off to Paris in two weeks' time. I'm going out to the stores to see where there are any gaps to work out the series of moves to make space for that one painting that needs to slot in there. And what we, what we used to do, we used to have scoops at either end. When I go into galleries, I probably spend less time looking at things on the wall. I want to know the fittings. I want to know where the label is in relation to that sculpture in the middle of the floor. I will appreciate the artwork, but there's all these technical questions. I wouldn't have thought that is important at all, but it's essential now. Get to slow it down again. Now I spend a lot of time going to art galleries, looking at their door measurements and going, so how did that actually get in here? Where is the lift? They must have a good lift. I have the coolest job in the world. I get to like see artworks, move artworks, work out where they're going to go. There's no interpretation. I get up really close and personal and I get to ask some awkward questions like how much does it weigh and say well that can't go there and that can't go there but that that combo works. I play Tetris with actual artworks. 